Don't buy into it. Don't, 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 don't fight it off. Sir. Fight it off. And we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I'm one of your hosts, David Bray. I am joined by my suicide squad here. We've got Gerald Bales. Hi. And our special guest, Sarah Flores Bales. Suicide. <laughs> And that mean, all that means is that you guys like your Slurpees mixed, right? That's uh, what, that's any what, sodas. Yeah. Any soda, dude. Do you still go suicide with your soda? No, no, no. Slurpees is no. the only thing that goes suicide now as a grown adult. Yeah, but... <laughs> but before it was like, we're doing Mountain Dew, we're doing a little uh, Coke here, you know? Pina colada? Mixing, you mixing all that stuff together? Mix it up, man. See, Fruit Punch and the Coca-Cola? You know what's good, David, okay. and fans out there? The Hawaiian Punch Slurpee mixed yeah. with Pina colada Yeah, that is actually pretty good. And rum. Yes. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Have you tried the uh, cake batter Slurpee? Yes, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. It's, it's just pretty, pretty good. It's, just, it's just sugar. It is vanilla. It's just vanilla cookie. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, if you are listening to the show, remember we do live. Oh, not live, but YouTube versions of our show. You can come watch our video podcast on YouTube. See our faces. YouTube.com slash sit down standard. Uh, we also put the audio version up on iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, as well as Stitcher Radio and now Google Play Store. Um, actually, uh, speaking of Google Play Store, we got a confirmation from one of our viewers, and then he sent in an email. Oh, okay. So uh, Mike K. from California. As long as someone uses Google, it's got to help Google out. You know, it's such a small company. We, yeah, exactly. It's the American version of him. Yes. Uh, we got an email from Mike K. Uh, who gave us a suggestion, something to do, something to play. Okay. Um, he writes... <laughs> Types. <coughs> Types. Whatever. Did he, did he, he did, is it a real letter? No, it's not a real letter. That'd be so It's a cool. pigeon. The first person who sent us a real letter. Someone did. Do you remember that? Back in the day, Secret Fun Sauce sent us oh, like, yeah, for the, a oh, handwritten yeah, letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I was going to say you get a $10 gift card instead of 5 <laughs> So Mike will be getting a $5 gift card. I'll get in touch with him. But he writes. He's going to choose Starbucks. You guys may, you guys and girls. He didn't write that. I, I Thank you. That. You guys, Thank you. You guys may Don't want trigger to, her. Okay? <laughs> you guys may want to check this out if you haven't already. He's talking about Jackbox Games. Okay. Um, yeah. They have a few different party uh, type games. You may run the app on your Xbox or whatever people play using their phone. So there's a part that's on the on a console, and then there's a part that the people interact with yeah. their phone. Um, he said he's played a game called Drawful as well as Quiplash. Yes, is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. And it went over great. He did say a little alcohol helped. So- oh, of course, social lubrication is what we call that. Always in the um, game world. He says it's super easy for non tech people to get involved. So it's you can go to Jackbox JackboxGames.com. Um, they just came out, I think, with a second version of their... Well, David, we have experience playing this. Okay, uh, they had the Jackbox Party Pack on Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they just came out with the second one, I think, uh, a few months ago. But the the one he's talking about, Drawful, I've had a chance to play that. It's kind we of We played a, it on the first mm-hmm. one, yeah. Yeah, we played that. It, it all ultimately in, devolves to people drawing you know, bad things. <laughs> oh, of course, especially with the alcohol that he mentioned. Yeah, yeah, so the way the game works is one person is um, is on their phone is given what to draw. Mm-hmm. Um, and then everybody else on their phone, uh, uh, so everyone's drawing something. Everyone's drawing something. They all get a clue, or right. like a clue of something to draw. Draw on. this, and it's, a lot of his stuff's like ridiculous, like stuff, a like, zebra eating ice cream. Yeah, yeah. presidential penguin. Yeah, yeah, something weird, right? And so then what ends up happening after everyone has drawn their specific clue, then those uh, uh, people's. Then it's put up on the screen yeah. and it's like what do you think this is right so then people write on their phones again so no one else sees what they think the drawing is without right. knowing the real title right and then it flashes up on the screen of all, everyone's suggestions with the real one and then your job is to guess what's the real one yeah and if people guess your suggestion they get you get points for you tricking get points other for players. tricking them yeah exactly it's a ton of fun and it, it is it is it only works because now we're flooded with um all the smartphones um, which yeah, is so cool. everyone, yeah, you don't need a specific controller, yeah. you know, you're not going to give your friend the Mad Cats controller, <laughs> Mad you know, Cats. you're going to, everyone has the uh, mobile browser on the phone, just pop it up and it's all there. It's super cool. So yeah, definitely. I haven't played Quiplash. Um, I've really, we've only gotten, I've seen awful. Quiplash, but I think Quiplash is included in the second party pack that we don't have. And I think the second one, um, probably gives more to it. it you know, it's the second version of it. I haven't played it yet. I want to check it out. Um, it was on Steam recently and picked that up because it's just, it's just, it's so like he talks about it's for non-tech people. It's fantastic. So can't recommend that. It's pretty enough. straightforward. Did you yeah. play any of the old games, David? Like the you don't know Jack stuff. Oh yeah, um, a little bit. Not like Cookie Masterson. <laughs> most. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is we would, you know, the elite in me would just play trivial like Pursuit and stuff like that. But it's more pop, pop culture, culture, but it's more yeah. funny. Yeah, and like you would, it would like you make could fun screw of, your neighbor, right? There was like more of like a take that part to it, like Uno. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like I like the, trivia games. I had a bunch of them on CD-ROM. 
Yeah. See, we Back used to play day. Jeopardy on NES, but we would play it. We we were kids, so we, we didn't had know. double dare on the. Yeah, on but the here's NES. the thing with Jeopardy that like it only had like a certain amount of questions. So eventually, yeah. we would just know all the answers, and then we'd like invite our friend over that didn't know, and we would look like the smartest person ever. Just get the That's first mean. couple wrong. That's oh, step. darn! But the eight hundred dollar <laughs> question you get right. It's like, <laughs> who wrote this novel back in 1840s? As a eight year old, I know. I don't remember any of it, but uh, um, but yeah, thank you for the email. I'll reach out to you, uh, Mike, and um, you can pick. Remember, if you send us a an email, ask a question, give a suggestion, whatever, uh, ask us anything. Um, it's called Ask Sit Down Standard. You get a five dollar gift card to Amazon, Steam, or Starbucks. Starbucks yeah. I think when I send mine via Pug. There you go. Yeah. Pug Pug Messenger. It's like yeah. a raven. Exactly. A lot slower. It's like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Now that we got through the email, again, thank you, Mike. Uh, let's start the podcast with what we start every podcast with. David singing. What you doing? <laughs> oh, what you doing? What you doing? Ah, 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 ah. That's that was, Joker. That Joker. Uh, kind of. Yeah, uh, Jared Leto. The inspired. terrible laugh, just yeah. like Jared Leto does. Yeah. We'll get, we'll, More on that later. We'll get that's to a that. tease. Yeah, that's Feed the, the baby birds, David. <laughs> All right, let's start with Gerald. Since you're on the end on this episode, what yeah. you doing, Gerald? What you uh, I got a bunch of stuff this week, David. All right, uh, cool. I'm trying to fit as much stuff in as I can. Um, oh, Gerald's weekly Overwatch update. Oh, here we go. Do we have a soundbite for this? We should. <laughs> da, na, na. <sighs> anyway, um, some everybody's new content, like uh, dude. some new content. Dude. Yes, we got the summer games going on. Um, and they created this tie-in with Overwatch. That it's not tied into the Olympics directly. It is. It doesn't say Rio 2016, but the map is in Rio, the soccer thing. And then um, everyone has new skins. There's over 90 new cosmetic items, David. Yeah. That you can get by buying the loot boxes, special mm. Summer Games loot boxes. And you get ching 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 Well, that's, that's the thing that people are upset about. Because like, if you have duplicates on items, you get an in-game currency, just gold or whatever. Yeah. And you can use that gold to buy skins that you haven't gotten in the loot boxes. You can't do that. No. You can't use it with the Summer Games skins. It's a limited event. Uh, so it ends on the 22nd. So if you want... Those cool skins, you got till the twenty second to get them, I guess. I, I, but, I don't uh, get that upset because I mean I get upset because it, it, it constantly feels like, hey, you know that ten percent of our audience that will do anything that we want them to? Let's just let's just you know, rip them off with all these crappy skins. And it's like I'm not there part are of some th- cool skins in that, David. I will attest to that. <laughs> I bet you will. Torb's got a cool sweetest thing that I unlocked the other this day. This is the ten percent I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, I didn't spend any real money. Yeah, but you, when you level up, you get the right, you get one loot box. Okay, and then they give you one when you first start the summer games. Well, I know one of the new. There's like a new mode that came out with the summer games thing. So, well, every week they tr- they switch it up with what's called the weekly brawl. So they'd be like, oh, now only these. You can only select these three heroes mm-hmm. and like hijinks stuff like that. Uh, this week they introduced a new game with the summer games called Lucio Ball. Um, Lucio's a support character in the game. He has oh, a not like Lucille Ball? Thing. No, <laughs> Lucio. How awesome would that be? Uh, Lucio she Ball. She shows up. Gotcha. And, uh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> if anyone knows what Rocket League is, it's that, but with Lucio. Yeah, you have like it's a, a big soccer ball and you got to score a goal. Yeah, and his one of his abilities is like pushing. So you can get use his gun to like send like a shockwave to push the ball mm-hmm. and you try to get in in the goal, which is cool. It's three versus three. It's, it's fine. A it's a good a way cool. to get actually experience. Because you get the same amount of experience oh, as you like, would in a game. I thought you meant like learning how to play the character. Oh, no, no, no. Because normally, <laughs> normally it's like, you know, you kill every, you kill the other team. And this, you're just trying to get soccer, right? So, yeah, it's fun. Anyways, okay, cool. But yeah, it's cool. Uh, check it out, Overwatch. Hopefully, we'll have something for you Man. next week. They have to keep coming up with new content weekly just so I can keep talking yeah, about Yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> Blizzard, you get the cash in those checks yet or no? Right. I uh, wish. Speaking of the summer games, David, the opening ceremonies were yesterday. Yeah. Last night. Well, as we're recording this. Yeah. Um, did you watch it at all? I did not. Um, I normally un- American. Well, see, I normally do. I think, you know, the problem is, is now YouTube. They're on YouTube, so I'll watch them on YouTube. I won't watch them live. Uh, plus, what's the time difference? It's got to be, I mean, it's not that much different. No, I think right? they showed it. They started showing it at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. That's the thing. It's like, it's not like, no, I want it to be at like 8 p.m. Well, we watched it. It must have been a rebroadcast. It yeah, was it was a rebroadcast. Yeah. yeah. So how was it? Uh, it, it was, was interesting. Good. They said from the very beginning, like, we don't have the kind of resources that Sochi or London did. So instead of doing these crazy, ridiculous displays, it's all centralized around a, pro- a giant projection screen. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you've seen the newer basketball courts and hockey rinks and stuff do. Um, so a lot of the stuff was centralized around that. It was kind of boring to me, honestly. And then it was all kind of overshadowed by the fact that um, like 25% of their population is unemployed and they have all these crime issues yeah, and there's the all- sewage in the water, all the controversy behind the game. I was reading just- an article that says like they had like the top 40 most dangerous cities and I think like 20 of them are in are in Brazil. And this is the <laughs> corruption. It's just, no, it's just it's really kind of weird. Bad. A whole lot of stuff is overshadowed. No, um, but it does bring, it does bring awareness. I mean, at the end of the day, it's good that, you know, the, the silver lining here is that maybe they'll get some 
help, you yeah, know, maybe. in some way, or at least it might, you know, I don't know. But anyway, well, I mean, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say you're you you can they do this in t- internet they do this they like just completely talk bad about something. I actually enjoyed it. Oh, you're I very about much the actual... enjoyed the show. Like I oh, enjoyed okay. the, the dancing. I enjoyed. I'm just saying the Olympics in general in Rio is kind of a mess, but. Well, yeah, and I think the health thing. Like, it's yeah. crazy to, you know. That Zika. I, I, the, well, th- not even that. It's just, like, the water contaminations yeah. and stuff like that. Like, But if you're going to send somebody, send, like, the most healthiest athletes we have. <laughs> I mean, they can take it. <laughs> but, hey, just don't swallow, what they say, three teaspoons of water, yeah. and you'll be fine. Three yeah. teaspoons, yeah. which sure. equals one tablespoon, right? They shouldn't even be worried about the water. They should be worried about what's happening in their Olympic village. Yeah. Anyways. But, yeah, that, all that, it's just crazy to me that, you know, because... I don't know how they dis- how the Olympic Committee picks it. I'm sure there's some cash cash oh, yeah, involved. Yeah. Um, uh, Brazil or Rio beat out Chicago, right? And I'm also there's obviously a ton of politics involved in it, but it's uh it's I I always enjoy the spectacle of it all, and mm-hmm. I love the I, I, maybe as an American I don't think we get into it enough. You know we do. A I don't bit. care about any of these sports except during the Olympics. You know, and well, you feel not, so patriotic. It's not even that. It's just like how many golds are we are we leading in gold? Are we leading, and if we're not leading in gold, we're like are we leading in all medals. We got the first gold, David. Do you know what <laughs> it was what in? I mean? See what I mean? Do you know what it was in? <laughs> what was it in? Shooting. <laughs> of course it was. We know that, right? All right. Anyways. Well, anyway, so they didn't enjoy it. I very much enjoyed it. I liked it. Hated on it. No, I'm talking about my husband. Oh, I'm telling the internet this is what my husband does. Oh, the 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 ceremony was fine. It was fine. It was just kind okay. Of boring. Yeah, it was okay. I liked it. Did they have like? Is it is it like? Um, they have the you know a, a particular like group of people for each country, and they come in with their flag, and they do all that. They usually do that. And then yeah, they, they do that after the opening the... ceremonies. And okay, so this is the thing that was kind of like get off my lawn with national broadcast. But like, how many commercials were there? Taking a break during the opening yeah. ceremony. Taking a break when every single break would be like we're coming up on. You guessed it, Michael Phelps leading the flag, the United States of America coming up. But it's like, yeah, that's you. We just started with A. And every commercial break, they mention that. Every commercial break, it's like, we get it. Oh, I get it. Okay, you well, I mean? mean, well, unfortunately, it says more about the American audience than anything. Like, the well, only reason we're the media, watching. Yeah. So Gerald actually didn't even watch the, the oh, nations come in. So no, first of all. No, I didn't Second watch of all, right. what was hilarious is that, okay, so after the Americans come in, they uh, they show, like, the, the pit that they're in, all the athletes the coming in through. The party area, right? Yeah, and then, like, they show show the other nations coming in so other people from other nations went up to behind the where the people were standing that were directing them to like see the other people coming in the americans were just shown nothing but shots of like taking like pictures of themselves and like saying like usa usa and like completely like like not even interested in what right. was actually of happening course. but course. you saw other people from other countries like go up to see yeah. the other countries come through so i just thought that was pretty funny like of course america's just taking pictures of themselves well like, we're the best country so I mean, come on what is it they say like the one thing the thing that we're number one in in the world is like confidence <laughs> exactly but, yeah, right however i want to talk about tonga i heard about this this, oh this oil this up, dude yeah oh my gosh Show a picture, he dude. wins i will yeah look he's just zoom in, just zoom oh, in. Oh, glistened up yes. there. Yes, that was amazing. Good for, good he for wins. you, Tonga. Good for he, you. He wins. Look, Tonga that country gets, gets just medal. wins. Medal. Yeah. I wonder if they would start awarding medals for like the opening ceremony. You did the best. I'm you, waiting till they do the red carpet of like, oh my god, look at what Michael Phelps and the Team USA is wearing. Oh well, god. they weren't doing that like on the TV show, but like on Twitter and stuff like that. They were doing that yeah. like about what people from other countries were wearing and stuff oh like god, that. A lot of the big, uh, the big name like. Um, fashion like i think louis vuitton did um i think he did cuba or something like that like that's awesome though um i don't know who did ours. i assume uh ralph lauren did ours for america because they had like the big like polo oh, the polo logo. symbols yeah, yeah. The, the, so. the reason i like the olympics is it's it's one of the few times and it's not everyone in the world but it feels you know like there's a large majority of the world watching one thing at yeah, one it's time like the world cup well yeah it's just really cool like the idea of like hey all of these countries, like the world, let's get together and play some games. Yeah. Like, that's that. awesome. Like, not just that, but yeah. the political turmoil that's in our country right now, this is the one time America gets together and be like, let's just beat all the other countries in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can all, we just we can all agree common, on that. Common enemies. Yeah, exactly. okay. I got you. Okay. So in a way to bring this back to Disney, as I always do. <laughs> Of course. Of course. Uh, I was like, I, thanks to the Disney company and the Three Caballeros and a documentary called Walt and El Grupo, I've like been obsessed with the idea of going to Rio de Janeiro. Like mm-hmm. that's always been like my dream. Like I want to go so bad. So, Bucket list type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Just wait so, till we have money I was so, so I excited. Pay off the ransomers when they kidnap you. <laughs> anyway, so I was so excited, <laughs> you know, this year. And then like at the end when, um, when they finally announced Brazil coming through, like they played one of the songs and I was like crying and I was like, this is awesome. And they did like a big carnival thing at the end, which was 
really awesome. So yeah. it's cool. It's like everybody, every country gets to play its best cards, which yeah. is great, you know, because it rarely happens. Most of the time, and they spend their whole like four years, every four years, you and know, that's what this is old. They do this. Right. Yeah. and that's what's cool about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's this. It's it's cool. Like a lot of people in the um, they were like interviewing Phelps and all that stuff, of course, and that one um, gymnast, or whatever I forgot her name. But everyone, all the other team, you're saying the back, they're just in the stands on their phones, are like eh, you know on TV and stuff because like this is their they're, moment, you know. That, cool. and they're like kids. A lot of those, they're like young, like young 18, athletes, nineteen yeah, year yeah. old kids. Yeah, it's insane. They're like you need to you re- represent a country. It's like he's nineteen. He just like <laughs> learned how to drive a few years ago. Like take it easy. He's been doing this his whole life. So all right. Other than Olympics, what else you got going on? Um. Got a call from my grandpa, David, Uh-oh. the other day. This is great. That this he was awesome. hacked by the Chinese and the Russians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is just a little get off my lawn here. Um, people, just so you know, no one's hacking you. Like, no one cares <laughs> about your email, what's in your email. No no one cares. If you get a call from someone who wants to get on your computer, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, unless, like, you know it's them. Pretty much he called Cox because... Uh, That's the cable he had to company? Figure out, yeah, if he, he had a problem with his email, called Cox. They told him it's not that. You need to call Gmail. Not not cool. Google. You need to call Gmail, David. You call call Gmail. Gmail. I didn't know you could call Gmail. Cox gave my grandpa Gmail's number. Gmail's number was not Gmail's number. It was just one of those companies that you know call you to be like, oh, let me get on a computer. You have all these viruses and stuff. Uh, proceeded that sucks. to yeah get two hundred bucks, which he reversed, which is good. But just like people, just be wary out there. They like these companies like to prey on people who don't people know. People don't doing. know. You know, like ignorant people and all that kind of stuff. Just you know, be wary. Look yeah, out. it sucks. That just sucks. That's sad, man. Yeah. It just... But he called me and he's like... There's a special place in hell right for now. people like that that yeah. like prey on like old people and like yeah. people who don't know what they're doing. It's just like... he's on. They're on the, my computer right now. They sold me this thing. I'm like, okay, close the lid right now. I'm coming over. <laughs> just close the yeah. lid. Yeah. Hang out the call. Right. Call American Express. Get that reversed. I'm on my way. Yeah. That's so good that he got... People, it's good. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's good that American Express and stuff like that at least helps him out. But it's yeah. just... I don't know. Just be wary, people. It's weird because like, you know, with... You know, do you answer phones like calls from numbers that don't show up with like a name? Yeah, every time. You never, you never answer. I don't. It? No, no, I always answer. I you answer always answer. Every single call, yeah. See, I just, I, I'm more of. It's like, uh, you know, like back, let's say, 15 years ago, someone knocks on your door. No big deal. Someone knocks on your door now, and you don't know they're coming over. It's like DefCon Five. Like, get the re- answer the red phone. Like, what's going on? Well, yeah, us because like our dogs go crazy. And it's like, oh my god, it's just the and you're like, oh. Uh, no, but holding I, something, uh, you know. No, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I, I, the invention of cell phones have changed that because no one just goes over to people's houses and says, "Hey, are you home?" Because yeah. like they would call you and be like, "Are you home?" Yeah. So it's just, I think part of that is it's you know no one answers on or uh, I just answer the calls because like calls. if it, if it is like a marketer, I'll just I'll go through the thing really quick, take me off your list, please, and then not get the call again instead of just mm. constantly getting calls, you know, once a week. I like the one that's like, "Can you hear me?" And it's like a, a recording. I always yeah. go, "No." And then it, as if i i would answer and they're like are you sure no and then they just hang up <laughs> i did get a call from like one of the people like oh hey i'm from microsoft you know found some viruses on your computer can you get me on i'm like oh yeah and i you know i'm a tech guy I know. yeah so you messed with them yeah so i messed up, i'm like yeah. i don't know all i have is this apple icon what's this mean you know where's the window at um, where's the any key me. Well, yeah hang up on me so yeah yeah they know that sucks that there's a whole industry involved in that. It does suck, but he's like, just just be wary, people. You know, don't yeah. click on email attachments you're not expecting. I would imagine people are listening yeah. to a podcast or on YouTube probably <laughs> aren't, aren't in the audience that you're talking about. But tell, your, tell the people you that know. you love not yeah, to. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, exactly. it just sucks. Okay. Last thing I saw another uh, other than Suicide Squad, which we'll get to later. Yeah, I saw another movie this week with my beautiful wife here. Uh, we went to see uh, Mila Kunis's movie Bad Moms. Christ-